Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, man, got a good one coming out for you guys, and this is going to be on tomorrow night's fight with damn Jamal Charlo and Brandon Adams, man. This is going to be on PBC on Showtime. Dude, this is actually going to be a pretty damn good fight, dude, and I actually really like both of these fighters you got to do like jamal charlo who has just been pronounced the damn wbc champion of that middleweight division just for the simple fact is you got to do like canelo alvarez who hasn't wanted to fight him so the damn wbc has made canelo alvarez the friggin franchise champion and they have officially made jamal charlo the wbc middleweight champion of the world congratulations to that homie and then you got him going up against a damn killer and brandon adams man this dude just got done finishing up that damn contender series winning the whole damn contender series if you guys did not see that contender series you definitely got to check it out as soon as I seen Brandon Adams on that damn show, I already knew that he was going to end up winning it. This fool is full of friggin' talent, man. This dude is super explosive, very slick with it. He's very good at being able to make the adjustments in those damn fights. And if you did not see that show, you definitely have to see him in action in that show. And I actually have a play-by-play -play breakdown on that Contendo series in my video. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely go and check that out. Now, going into a fight like this with a dude like Jamal Charlo, you got a dude like Jamal Charlo. This fool is a friggin' killer in that damn division, man. I'm talking about the homie is big as hell. If you have not seen Jamal Charlo, he has a friggin' huge frame for that 160-pound division. The fool is big. He is strong. He has substantiating power in that damn division, and he is a very technical boxer. He is very good at being able to make adjustments in that damn ring. The homie has hella cardio, and the dude is friggin' vicious, dog. He will friggin' come at your ass, and he will not stop coming until he has knocked your ass out, or if you're able to make it out that damn fight. Now, going up against the dude with Brandon Adams, a fighter which I personally like. Brandon Adams, this fool is friggin' super explosive, very fast, twitchy, very slick in that damn ring, and with him being the smaller dude, he is actually very deceptive on the way that he is able to gauge distance in that damn ring because most of the people that he's fighting he is generally the smaller guy just for the simple fact the dude is only like 5'9 personally I actually think he's a little shorter than 5'9 if you've actually seen him fight he looks actually shorter than 5'9 the fool looks like he's like freaking 5'8 or something like that but when you see this dude fight he is very good at being able to gauge distance being able to gauge range being able to close the gap going up against the taller range of your fighters and he is very very explosive in that damn ring dude his ring generalship is friggin outstanding in that damn ring and he can definitely make this an entertaining fight depending on how his game plan is now with the fight like this i definitely see brandon adams having to use a lot of head movement being able to get on the inside of a dude like Jamal Charlo, which can still be very dangerous because Jamal Charlo does have a very good inside game with his uppercuts, with his hooks. He's a very good mid-range fighter when he needs to be. But going up against a dude like Brandon Adams, with Brandon Adams being the shorter guy, he definitely needs to keep a dude like this on the outside just for the simple fact that Brandon Adams being on the inside of that range or even being at mid-range, I'm telling you, this dude is super explosive and this dude is definitely somebody you do not want within that damn range because when Brandon Adams start getting his combinations going, I'm telling you, he will friggin' crack a dude like Jamal Charlo. But messing with a dude like Jamal Charlo, man, Jamal Charlo is definitely going to have the reach advantage, definitely going to have the height advantage. You got a guy like Jamal Charlo who is about six feet, has a 73, 74 inch reach going up against a dude like Brandon Adams who only has a 70 inch reach. So Jamal Charlo is definitely going to have the height 
and the reach advantage going into this fight. And the one thing that I give Jamal Charlo that a lot of people sleep on is he has a very powerful jab. This dude has a jab where he knocks fools down with just a jab. He has a really good jab, very good one too. He throws really good combinations. He is very explosive himself. And going into a fight like this, dude, I can really see him giving Brandon Adams a lot of problems and a lot of trouble in this damn fight. Just for the simple fact is he's going to have a very good reach advantage, very good height advantage in this damn fight. He is very good at being able to use his reach and his height to his advantage. And he is definitely going to give Brandon Adams some damn trouble in this damn fight. And I can definitely see Jamal Charlo stopping Brandon Adams in this damn fight just for the simple fact is Brandon Adams has been stopped by lesser competition. And personally, going up against a dude like Jamal Charlo, this is probably going to be one of the biggest tests that Brandon Adams has had in his career. In his career, he's fought in dudes like Willie Monroe, who he had his first loss to. But going up against a dude like Jamal Charlo, a dude that has substantiating power like that, I can definitely see Jamal Charlo stopping Brandon Adams in the middle rounds of this damn fight. But if Jamal Charlo is underestimating a dude like Brandon Adams, Brandon Adams can definitely pose him problems just for the simple fact is, like I said, the dude is very good at being able to gauge range and being able to dictate the range. So only time is going to tell what is going to happen. I can definitely see Jamal Charlo winning this damn fight, but hopefully Brandon Adams still comes to bang, still comes to fight, and definitely makes this a very entertaining and intriguing fight all right you guys so i hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys have any kind of questions any kind of comments hit me up in the comment section and i'll be sure to hit you guys up all right so i hope you like the video holla at your boy i swear, I swear. I swear. I swear.